strokes and angle brackets all right so we take our uh, n view from the direction of ROS and you are going to be projecting it in third angle orthographic projection so taking our uh, n view the total height of that n view is going to be 104 so from this area I measure 104 this is my mark 104 all right so and from mark 104 which is at the bottom here measure mark of uh, 16 in two places which is what which is 32 all right Okay, so I've marked it out then from that point of 32, measure point 48 upwards, all right? And this is my point 48 here. I'm measuring it also. So then after doing that, I'm going to measure on the horizontal plane, all right? On the horizontal plane, I am measuring uh, 46, 46. So this is my 46 on the horizontal plane. Then I'm going to draw out the lines. So the 46 on the horizontal plane, I'm going to draw it down vertically. Okay, so I'm going to does it there. So for the max horizontally, yeah, this area, I extend it, this area, I extend it, this area, I extend it, and this area also, I'm extending it, all right? So I haven't done that. Uh, let's develop our view uh, first of all. Okay, so I'm going to thicken this area out. Okay, after thickening that area out, so I need to get uh, the hidden views there. So we are told that uh, that uh, slot, that slot uh, from uh, the midpoint. So let's get the midpoint here first of all. Half of 46 is what is 23. This is our 23. All right, and from that midpoint, we are told that that slot is diameter what. Uh, is span of 16 then 16 plus radius of 5 all right radius of 5 that's what 5 towards the right 5 towards the left that's 10 that's 26 so from this midpoint 20 divided by 2 is what's 13 i'm measuring 13 towards the left and right all right 13 towards this area 13 times 2 is what's 26 okay then that mark of 5 then that mark of Five. After doing that, I'm going to project them vertically. Yeah, those points, I'm going to project them vertically. So, having projected it for the slot, this is its own hidden details. Yeah, hidden details for the slot. This is it here. All right. All right. So, on this particular area, there is a hole there at the back, a hole of uh, diameter 12 separated by distance 20 mm apart okay so i'm going to get that also yeah distance of 20 mm apart so which means towards this area i'm measuring uh 10 then towards this area i'm measuring what 10 then from there uh diameter 12 so i'm picking 6 plus 6 picking 12 then from here also I'm picking six plus six. And I'm going to project them also vertically. So after I project them vertically, I'm going to show the hidden details here of the holes here. This is their hidden details. So after getting the identity, the next thing is to develop the upper part of my object here. So this mark 48 is already set to. So we are told that our uh, this upper part here was subtended at an angle of 60 degree, at an angle of 60 degree. So from this area, I'm drawing a line of 60 degree toward this area. Left here is 30, then this area also 60 degree. So 60 degree from here. right then 60 degree from here also so after doing that on this map of 48 here i'm going to get the midpoint all right the midpoint of uh this distance here is going to be uh 23 because the other way is 20 so that is 23 okay so from that point 23 i am drawing a line of 30 degree yeah 30 degree on that point 23 this line of 30 degree to pass through that point of 23 all right so I haven't drawn that then this is the center of my uh 
of my total object. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my compass right here, then pick the radius of this span here, all right? Then I'm going to what? Draw. I'm going to draw. Okay, so this is my uh, object. Now, after doing that, we are told that how many circles are inside that particular area. Uh, we have a circle of diameter 24 and 16. So I'm going to draw that also. Okay, so this is my end view. So I'm going to bring this line to ensure it touches uh, this area tangentially. All right. Next is for me to project the diameter of this uh, circles vertically and horizontally. For my front view, the total span is 122. So from here, I'm measuring 122, which is this. All right. After 122, we are told that from this area here, right is 52 52 all right and you're told that from this area here it's what it's 90. So i'm going to project those ones also so this 2.52 here all right and 2.90 but at the junctions yeah they are radius of what? Radius of fillet of radius 6 and fillet of radius 6. So I'm going to produce the fillet now. now so I pick that this for that uh, area. Then at the bottom here also, radius 6. So from this junction also, having settled that junction, I'm going to draw it out. This way. Then. This way. Go to this point here. right then at this junction yeah at this junction there is also uh, a radius all right a radius at this point 90 here there is a radius here so i'm going to produce this kind of radius there also okay having formed the radius here i'm going to draw that area out also all right then i'm going to uh, join it down there for me also joining it down here for me also Joining it down the end, all right? And this area, I'm joining it. Okay, so we are told that uh, from the edge here, mark of uh, 20 inwards, yeah, to get uh, the heading view for our slot, all right? So this is the mark 20 inwards. Uh, the slot is diameter, is diameter 10, all right? This is mark 20 inwards, diameter 10. Right, and I'm going to pull that out now. Okay, so that area is what is going to be hidden. The slot is hidden. Okay, it's hidden. All right, next on this axis, there is a hole here. So we are told that the distance from this area is also mark uh, 20, all right? And we are told that the diameter for those holes are diameter 12, all right? So diameter 12. Now I'm also going to project them vertically. Okay, so I have my heading details there also. The next is to develop uh, that area that comes out here, all right? And we are told that uh, from this area to where it started is what is mark of 45 all right this is mark 45 and the thickness of that object is what is 10 all right this is mark 10 so i'm going to what project them vertically right now having done that then i'm going to actually draw that area out yeah i'm going to draw it out okay this to top Aligning it with this area. So I bring it there, then I'm going to take it uh, towards the back here, downwards. Right. So then here also. Downwards. All right. So we are told that the thickness of uh, this particular 
circle of uh, diameter 24. Yeah, it comes out with thickness of uh, 12 mm. 12 mm. All right, so I'm going to do that now. This is my 12 mm. So projecting my 12 mm downward. So I'm going to draw it out now. Okay, so this smaller circle here is going to be what's eating, and this is it here. All right, that's it. So we are through with our uh, front elevation, and now is to what is to get our plan. Okay, so from uh, the midpoint of this line, I'm drawing a line at angle 45 outwards here, right? Angle 45 towards the top. Okay, I've been drawing it. So wherever all this line touches this line of angle, so I'm going to project it inwards here. On my plan, this area will be what? Tick or true. And this area will also be what? Tick or true. Okay. Comes this way. Comes this way. And this area yeah a total frame comes this way all right then the radius are the four edges is radius what radius six so i'm going to do that now okay getting the radius i'm going to what join them together okay and this area also together all right so next is to bring out the circles here. So the first part is this, tracing it, this is it here. And the hidden that is inside, this, this is it here. So this also, this is it here. Then uh, this also, this is it here. So uh, this is fine, I'm going to draw that now. This area is going to be what eating, and this area is what eating. Okay, having done that, I'm going to join this area, yeah, down here. All right, then also, I'm going to apply this here, yeah, down here. This very hidden circle here, tracing it. Uh, this area here is going to be hidden right here. Okay. The next is the slots here, then the holes here. Okay. 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 And I'm going to join them. Okay, and the circles here. Okay, all I need to do is pick my compass, place it at the point here, extend it to the diameter of the distance, and what and draw my circle, then do the same thing right here. Okay, then also what draw my circle. Alright, so as it is this place also carries a thick line. Yeah, this area also carries a thick line, all right. Okay, so that is uh, the complete drawing of uh, this particular object in uh, a orthographic projection using uh, the third angle, an angle bracket in third angle orthographic projection. So kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in aid of it. Thank you.